Hello, Filon Rusk here. This is vlog two, and we are heading up to the mine to go and start mining some stone, Martian stone. As you can see there, we've got the workers working on plowing up the fields that we harvested in the last vlog. Of course, we got all that straw into our power plant, and we are now producing decent amount of electricity. Well, hopefully we are. We'll have to see how that goes. We're still in the afternoon of our first, well, in the later, later stages of our first month on Mars. And the June buggy, or the Mars buggy, is making short work of getting up this hill. got a tremendous amount of power and gets us around nice and quickly. Fast catching up with these Martian vehicles that are trundling along. We'll get past them on this little flat area. Put the power down. Yeah, just as a side note, um, at the time of recording this, the the update to the first version of Mars has now come out and this map is now available on ModHub. So if it interests you, go and get it. It's worth it's worth a look at at least. I'm loving it to be honest. Nice and different. I suppose it's not for the purist, but hey, sometimes you have to do have a little bit of variety in life, so to speak. Right, so we're not too far away from the mine, it's just after that exit that you can see over there to the outside of the dome. That's where some of the Martian vehicles head out to and connect up to other, other missions that may already be on Mars. Right, there we go. We've got our got some equipment up here already. Nice big uh, nice big tractor, nice big front loader. Pretty much gonna need it. I think that bucket's got about ten thousand litre capacity. The trailer's got seventy two thousand litre capacity, so we needed a big tractor to pull that up. And let's get started. So we'll go through uh, the first load of the of the tractor and trailer. Get that into the just a little way along the. Well, you'll see. Well, you, you'll see where it is when we get to there. Um, we have a collection point for the stone, which takes us all the way down to the bottom level, so we don't have to up and travel all the way all the way, the, the long way around, so to speak, to the stone crusher. This will bring the stone out fairly close to the stone crusher and we can just transport it from there. Nice little feature. Okay, so we've got 21,000 litres. Did I say 10,000? It was only out by about a half. <laughs> well, more than a half actually. <laughs> so let's get this filled up. As with the first one, we've always got to find out where the tipping points are and make sure we're not chucking it on the ground. There we go, that looks good. It's JC it was Volvo, I was going to say JCB. Volvo will not be very best pleased with me. Um, it comes from the um, Platinum expansion, Silver Run Forest, Silver Run map at least. It's got heaps of power, handles this big bucket very, very easily, even on that slight incline. Uh, 
that's good. I was wondering what is going to happen when we get to the uh, the wall of the big the big stone wall. Let's put it that way. Yeah, so this is basically the second production that we're going to be looking at. It's going to be pretty important. We need to get the depleted Martian stone so that we can start the process of um, of producing our electronic goods. That's pretty much our end goal is to get that electronic goods operation up and going. But there's a lot of inputs that are needed there and we've got to take care of a lot of other productions before we can get that going and still keep up the basic farming operations to keep the electricity supply going. And then still taking care of the other administration things like getting the oxygen generators sorted out, getting the carbon monoxide cleaned out of the system, all these little things that you have to do in a biodome type situation to maintain our livable atmosphere. I must probably mention that in the first episode that we are using specialized machinery up here, far greater capacities than you would normally do utilize on uh, um, on Earth, and that's just because we have to move things along here. We can't afford to do things in the normal in the normal manner. Don't know if you noticed there, but uh, when we loaded that last lot, the trailer slot started slipping down the hill. Of course, we've already got about 63,000 litres in there. So let's just get that on slightly more flat ground, so that we don't end up having a crumpled heap of trailer and tractor down in the, in the mine. So if we, did, if we weren't using specialized equipment here, this would be a fairly slow operation. But then again, mining is a fairly slow operation. So let's just clamber up to the top here and have a look. Yeah, you see it starts caving in on itself. It's good, I like that little effect. We'll get this all... We'll get all these little... These three little mounds cleared out first and then we'll attack the vast reserves that we have of Martian stone. Yeah, so in this series, I'm, in this vlog, I'm going to be concentrating mainly on getting the productions going. Of course we will be doing all the farming and we'll be showing you bits and pieces of that. Um, showing you what we plant and um, what what we're doing there to to feed ourselves as such and to get get money in, exporting down, get the animals going. We need to get some animals going so we need to get start planting a couple of grass fields I think we do have one grass field growing at the moment. Um, I'm not sure how much we're going to get, but we've got that field right in front of the of the animal biodomes um, that we will put to grass as well, uh, as well. Because we can also use hay, of course, for 
producing electricity but I think um, the the rock crusher produces methane as well I think we can produce I don't know if we can produce electricity from methane but we can certainly produce diesel from methane there we go we've got the trailer full a little bit still left in the in the um, front loader and there's the the rock, the rock delivery point so we'll empty this at the top there and then it's uh, Mars gravity just takes it down into um, the first level I don't know if you'll see it but um, if you keep glancing down to the first level you will see the rock crash and the sluice of the mining operation down at the bottom let's probably see it as we reverse in so I think we'll we'll put in about uh, five loads of this trailer that will give us about 350,000 litres I think that the if I'm not mistaken the rock crusher takes 300,000 litres to fill up so we'll do it in we'll do five loads at a time of um, of mining going forward so we won't show, show you everything it'll take quite a while to to do um, to do the five loads so we'll do a bit of a jump cut towards the end well getting towards the end of the mining process and then we'll go down and uh, get the rock crusher operational in the meantime we will be still working on plowing up our fields I don't know whether we'll get a chance in this month to start planting fields. Where are we? We are in August. We'll have to have a look at that once somewhere along the line. We are already sort of into the early afternoon. Not sure after we've got all this um, working. Uh, well, not sure whether we'll have a lot of time to do any planting once we've got the. Once we've finished mining, let's put it that way. I suppose we should have got multiple operations going and... Because uh, I think well, I mean, we've got enough tractors down there. We'll have to become more efficient in how we work as well. Got to get it in my mind right before I can light the fire under the, under the workers here. When you're producing your own oxygen and having to uh, to manage your atmosphere, you've got to be as efficient as as efficient as possible. And that's one of the other goals of my mission up here. So we are also in negotiations with. A company called the Mars Consortium um, to start selling off some of the fields and it's not a bad deal because we'll get it we'll get some immediate income coming in from that so this is just getting another worker going on on the plowing we've got uh, a nice, I'll get back to the Mars Consortium as we go along. Um, we've got a nice wingspan of plough. 
we got it on the big fent, I think. Let's get this work worker sorted out. These are fairly square fields, so I don't think we need to do any headlands. We can just send this off on an up and down. Send our workers off on an up and down trajectory. Nice and easy, so we won't do any headlands. Let's get the rest of the instructions going for them. Yeah, works out perfectly. Off he goes. We'll get back to the mining. I think we are now on our last, on our fifth load. Getting on for three o'clock in the afternoon now. So it is pretty time consuming. You can see we've got all the small, small outcrops of uh, moss rock done. We well into attacking the big, the big lot. This goes back for miles. This mine is huge. We will be collecting Mars rock from here for... I certainly think we'll be able to complete our mission without having to look for more deposits. Yeah, I'm quite happy the, with the operation going uh, gone up here. Um, fortunately, we have to do this ourselves. I have to do this myself. Um, can't get the workers to do this at the moment. Just don't have the skilled personnel up here. Hopefully, we'll by the time my mission is complete, completed here, I will have trained up suitable staff to keep this opera operation going I can get back down to earth so getting back to that Mars consortium so we are in fairly advanced negotiations to sell on some of our our fields to them um, so we'll get immediate income from that and then they will contract us to to look after their fields and to to harvest, plant their fields, etc. And that'll bring in a, another source of income. So we will we won't we'll, well, we won't sell all the fields, I don't think we'll do that in that sort of form because we will need to have some sort of control of our inputs. But we may sell on some, and it also gives the consortium um, encouragement to bring in new settlers up here. Because they will then start working on bringing in their staff, and then we will be able to put up some accommodations, some apartment blocks up here as well. So it will bring some income as well to us. We will control the property market as much as we can. I can hear a lot of people saying, oh, becoming a dictatorship. But that's kind of what we are at this point in time. Operation like this, there's no room for total democracy. Those of you who know me and my enterprises will know that I am pretty hands-on. Things are done the feel on Rusk way or no way. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, now we've got to got to bring in other people up here we can't maintain this in our well, 
when I say we can't maintain it, I, I, we we can't just keep this to ourselves. We've got to start um, start allowing people to settle up here and to feel that it's worthwhile them settling here. I mean, people don't just go and settle in far off places if they there's not something in it for them so and hopefully the getting the Mars Consortium involved I presume that they will then be selling off different lands and different operations to different to different people right so I think that's the last load loaded up Load five, so we should have well over 350,000 liters worth of of Martian rock in the storage area. We'll leave that there for now. Might need to put up some sheds here just to house this equipment when we're not mining. Get this loaded up for the next time, or at least pretty sure we were full. Yep, not quite sure why I spent the time doing that. Should have just got into the just enjoying driving the, driving the Volvo, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, we've we've used quite a few of the manufacturers of farming and uh, big equipment on Earth just to spread things around. Well, we've had to use everybody who has been able to meet our requirements for for specialized equipment that we are using just eventually would like to get them to uh, make the vehicle slightly look slightly more less like earth vehicles but as long as they do the job we'll bring them up get that loaded up and then I think we'll we'll take a look at getting a, a basic shed built up we won't do an underground one just yet we'll eventually do an, under, an underground um, storage facility up here but for now I don't think we'll spend the money on that I mean it's not that we're short of money we've got 1.7 million available to us but we need to keep a fairly big contingency fund going just because we don't quite know what things are going to cost. We've got, all, we've got, we've got a lot of work to do on the animal side of things. Make sure that we've got some fresh protein going up here in terms of animal products, cheese going. Need to, I don't think we've got any cheese production up here at the moment. We need to get a cheese production facility up, go, up and going. So we need a dairy. Of course, we need to start off by putting, getting some cattle going. And then we've got sheep that we need to get going. Chickens. People do need their, their Sunday roasts. So we need to get some pigs going, got to get got everything got to get everything going up here that we would normally have access to on on, to, on earth plus get our big uh, manufacturing plant going so we'll have to we will get depleted Martian stone which I think we'll have to put through the sluice and then we'll
we'll have to put that into a smelter and then we'll get a whole lot of different products which go into the electronics manufacturing so we'll many manufacture components and our end product will be uh, motherboards which we will send back to earth and of course use ourselves and we do of course have our staging point on the on the moon already well established so most of the stuff goes through there so we've come a long way since um, since we started our operations down in the early 2000s 2042 now I'm a lot greyer now than I used to be let's put it that way <laughs> Right, so let's get down to the bottom Go and have a look at the stone crushing operation Just about there, oh, just before we get down there, we're still at the top here, let's have a quick look at the at the Mars rocket It's still pretty much the shape, those of you who are following us um, in uh, Around about 2020s, early 2020s, when we were testing these things, this um, Starship. You can see the shape is still pretty much the same. We eventually got it here. After some, you'll recall there was some very major. Flops is not the right word. <laughs> some, we had some. Uh, we never had a failed mission because we always learned something from every mission. But there were a couple of, a couple of versions of that uh, starship which exploded, either on landing or on taking off. And yeah, we got so. We've got a couple of nice pieces of beefy equipment here got the John Deere on the trailer and then we've got the uh, the JCB on the FOSS trailer what I'm going to call the FOSS trailer so once we start getting product we use the JCBs to move around the product because the top speed on the JCB is is reasonable it, to say the least compared to some of the other tractors the other tractors are good so we should get our stone delivered here yeah so this is also a 60 or thousand liter capacity trailer so we'll probably uh, put three in a bit into the crusher because I Stand on the correction, but I'm pretty sure the crusher takes six, uh, 300,000 litres. So that's the sluice, the yellow opera, um, piece of equipment. These the sluice. That this is the crusher here. And we'll get that all fired up. That's working perfectly. As I said earlier on, we are, we did try to spread spread the equipment around a lot of different manufacturers. So we'll be seeing a lot of different manufacturers' equipment being used. It's only fair enough. Right, let's get this started. Seventy-two thousand. Yeah, it doesn't tell us how much we got there. So electric. electric put some electric charge in there we'll be able to get the overdrive going as well so we'll, as I said electricity is so important so we get depleted Martian stone methane liquid oxygen 
and carbon monoxide. We have to find out what we could do with the liquid oxygen, where that can go to. Not quite sure, I haven't followed that up. I have to speak to my engineers. Even though I'm in overall control of this whole situation, sometimes... Well, it's impossible for me to know every single little thing. Get another load going. Got a nice view of the train exit point. Just as we were driving in there. Right, so this is the fourth load now. Bit of a jump cut to get to here. But I think you get the gist of what's what's happening here. We're trying to get our production facilities of our raw basic raw materials going as efficiently and as quickly as possible. We also have a, um, a another rock crusher here, um, which would produce lime. But I am not sure whether we'll get around to using that. Yep, that's full. So we've got a little bit left in the in the trailer. So that was our fourth trailer. I think we've still got some left in the storage facility as well. And we've got a fair amount left in here. Yeah, we've still got 60 odd thousand left in there, so we'll just put that, keep that in the trailer. Pop that into the into the crash at a later stage. So it was 300,000 in there. That's busy working. Looking good, looking good. Alrighty, well let's go and have a look for a small trailer to carry some electric charge. I think this is going to be good enough. Forty six thousand liters, I don't know whether we need to go right up to that size. That should be good enough I think. Just standard capacity. Uh, yeah, why not? You never know if you're going to need it. I don't know what the, how quickly we're going to be able to supply electric, electric charge but still so let's get our JCB out and go and pick up the trailer which should be at the shop I think I think I just caught a glimpse of it there so no problem traffic's heavy here today and the point between the space vans Right, we'll get this back down to the to the where we where were we <laughs> we were at the um, at the rock crusher that's where we were not quite sure why I couldn't remember where we were but still <laughs> well we'll just get this back to the rock crusher, go and park it up there, and then I think we'll nip on down to the electrics factory and to the electrics factory <laughs> to the power generator and go and see how much electric charge we got there. And if we've got enough, we'll bring some back and we can get the overdrive going on the 
on the um, rock crusher. What, what's happening? I think we've got ourselves a bit lost here, haven't we? I think it's the other way around. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, I know where we are now. We just need to, we need to go left here. And then past the storage facility and the... Yeah, still finding my way around Mars at the moment. I uh, do tend to get a little bit lost every now and again. Here we go. Oops. Coming in hot, coming in hot. Oh. <laughs> Don't want to drive up there. No harm done. Good suspension on the buggy. Let's go and have a look and see. So we've still got loads of straw in there. We've got about 1600 litres of electric charge. So we can come and pick that up, I think. Don't know how long that'll last in the, in the rock crusher, but we'll find out. All these things we need to find out. And they've all been thoroughly tested before they've come up here to be set up, but you never know. You know, unless you can test these things in the exact circumstances, you never know. So we still need to see if we put, I mean, we might just run through electric charge in that 1600 in a couple of minutes, who knows. Right, let's get that connected up and then we'll head on down to the the power plant and can pick up that little bit of electric charge we've got there bring it back put it into the rock, rock crusher that's probably where we'll end this vlog Right, so let's get our bearings done properly here now. So straight ahead is the sort of home area, central crane. That's us there. And there, yeah, there to the left, top left, right at the top now, you can see the power generator. So it's not too far away from where we are, really. And when we took the buggy down there, we went at the top of these rocky outcrops. We'll find, we'll, we'll get used to it. We'll get used to it over time as we get going. In the background there, you can see the workers still plowing up the fields. Feeling we're coming in too hot again. Yeah. Oh dear. Gee. <laughs> there must be a little bump there. <laughs> Did you see that thing go flying? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I hate reversing these things. I can never reverse things. These, these trailers in a straight line backwards. We'll just drive around and go in again. I think there is a mod where you can uh, fix the axle. Let's try that out sometime. Sixteen hundred and fifty-five liters of electric charge. We can, of course, buy electric charge. Let's probably look at that somewhere along the line just to show you that. Um, but I really want to produce. really want to produce our own electricity 
it's a prerequisite for me on this map. So we shouldn't, we shouldn't be too far to get back to the rock crusher as we go past these fields that are ploughed up. This is the field on the, on the right hand side that I was talking about putting to grass. Nice and close to the animal pen. The field just before that has already got grass in it, I think. Um, busy growing, that's the one that we couldn't fertilize in uh, vlog one. Alright, let's get this in. And then we'll go and set up the overdrive. Electric charge does move in and out very quickly. Right, so we've got electricity in there now. Overdrive. That'll stop producing. So we'll, we'll produce in both modes. But the overdrive will just... Yeah, do exactly what it says on the can, doesn't it? Put that production into overdrive. Space warp speed. <laughs> Here we go. That's that done. We're going to get this parked up, and I think that's where we'll end this episode. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to us so we can keep you informed. And we'll catch you in the next vlog. We're going to be able to park that there, are we? Once again, cheerio.